Hello and welcome to Sammy's two and a half day trip through Prague. So when I first got there, I decided to just start walking around in the Old Town area because there were so many beautiful buildings, as you can see, really colorful, which I really liked about Prague. And then I got to the main square area, still filled with so many beautiful buildings. And it also had, of course, the famous astronomical clock, which you can see there. That was really cool to see in real life. I felt like I was in the book Hugo. <laughs> And from here, I just kept walking around the city, some more cool buildings that I saw, I was taking pictures and videos to show my family and you all, of course. And I then wanted to go to a little park area, so I was crossing the bridge here. You can see a little view over the city, really pretty with the lake. And then I got to the park, which was pretty big. This was just a little bit higher up from the city, but right next to it still, so very accessible. And the trees look a little dead in the winter, but I still thought it was really pretty um, with all the green grass. And then here you can see the little city overlook, which was really beautiful from up there. And then I saw this cool Coca-Cola truck. And then later in the evening, when I was walking around, I saw this group of students who were just dancing right here, which was honestly really fun to watch. They were pretty good, so this was cool. And then I got dinner. It was so good. This ramen restaurant, if you're ever there, I really recommend it. Now to the next day, this was in the morning. I was walking around again. I had a destination in mind today though, um, but these were some of the sights along the way. And I saw this pigeon in this frozen fountain. I, don't, I thought it was funny and flew away. But I went to see the dancing house. This is where I was heading. It looked really cool. It looked like it was dancing. And right next to it were these really pretty buildings that were so colorful and I was just thinking how fun it would be to live there. My next stop was this little outdoor souvenir stand area, which was in the Old Town area again. Um, this was cute, just had a ton of souvenirs. I got some bracelets for my friends and they had these really pretty fruit arrangements that I wanted to buy, but I thought it wouldn't be practical. <laughs> and then I would found myself back at the astronomical clock again. This kept happening, I would be walking and then I was like, oh, I'm here again, cool. <laughs> but it was really nice to see it in this bright sunlight and um, just continued walking. This was the main library I wanted to go see because they had a really cool exhibit inside where it's an infinite stack of books like it's like a well of books and then you look down and it just looks like books forever but sadly it was closed so i went to the famous charles bridge and was walking along that here and here's a statue along the bridge with some little birds just hanging out there they were so cute and here's the center of the bridge, the statue there, plus some views. The bridge was really crowded, of course, filled with tons of tourists. Um, and another bird hanging out on the statues. <laughs> and my next stop was to go to the castle, and I had to climb up these long stairs. But when I got up there, I saw the church, which was, as you can see, very grand and just a really striking structure that they had built. Um, the carvings were really detailed. There were just so many details on the outside of the building and that window right there was filled with stained glass. So on the inside, it was rainbow and beautiful and no pictures were allowed inside. So you have to go to see it yourself. And then I kept walking and saw some little spring buds, which was so exciting. And then I was at the John Lennon wall which was a lot cooler than I was expecting it to be, honestly. It was really cool just to see everything that people had put up on there. And I'll show you some of my favorite little markings in a second. Best milk, star, meat. It's just a walnut, dad. Someone wrote something in pen, really small. SpongeBob. Okay, my next destination was another park where I got to see a view over the city. So beautiful, while the sun was setting too. It was just a very peaceful, quiet moment, which I felt like I needed after spending most of the day in the city where it's just a little bit more chaotic. But look at how beautiful the trees are against the sky. It's one of my favorite views is winter trees against the blue sky and Prague did not disappoint. 
But I just stayed here for a bit, watching the sunset and enjoying the city view, which you can see here again. It was really nice just to see it from high up and see how big and busy the city is, but from far away. And then I ended up back at the astronomical clock. Like I said, I just keep finding myself here. And I saw these really pretty pastries, so good. And a jazz bar. Okay, and the next morning, this was my last little moment in Prague. So I went to Aldi and got some pastries and that was the end of the trip. Okay, and I will leave you all with this cute little clip of some dogs I saw in the park. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed.